or the me she imagined. From the river, a tour boat sounds its horn. The passengers all wave at us, and at nothing in particular. Leaping through again, I inscription to someone she met in a hostel in Paris. I pay for the book, stuff it in my knapsack, rush for the southbound train, wondering how often she may have crossed my mind across three decades, how much of her slipped into my poems without my knowing, if she even recalls those months together when her face was always pale with sadness and our bodies were what she clung to to endure the days. Roy and Roy and Apple and Cassidy also had TV shows. Actually, all three of them had TV shows. 
shows, I'm sorry, Gene Autry, Roy, and Alpha Cast, they all had TV shows in the 50s, but they were very popular in the 40s in black and white Western films. Okay. Um, it's called Gunfighters, and it's about, it's about being young, I guess. In the late red afternoons, we break open the blue boxes of ammo and load our guns in seconds with strips of dotted red ticker tape. And the air sparkled with the smell of sulfur as shots rang out across the plains of high grass and echoed through the bluffs as bad men dropped like flies. Paiute, Chippewa, the dreaded Navajo, and the scattering of masked outlaws, all laying siege to our scouts and wagon train. In moments, they each rise again from invisible wounds that heal magically and shoot again as someone else. These were the years of Hopalong Cassidy hats, Gene Audrey pistols, and Roy Rogers holsters, boots, and bandanas. Days spent perfecting our draw our aim, learning to walk tall. We were all blood brothers, soon to be separated by classrooms, by moves to new frontiers, blocks away, but a world to us.